Welcome to Cat and Raven Designs. I'm thirsty. And I'm Raven. Only thirsty because I can't find my water bottle. Oh, you know what I'm thirsty for. Water. The the Oreo churro milkshake. <laughs> Your body's 70% water and I'm thirsty. Oh God, not this again. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm just going to take it as a win that you keep actually looking at the camera, so. <laughs> Thanks. Love it. Have fun editing that. Thanks. Welcome to the third video in Kat's birthday month series. Happy birthday month, Kat! Thank you! Today we're making pet your kitty. I want to pet your kitty. No. <laughs> I don't have a kitty. There are no pets in this house. No pets. So, since we're going with the uh, the cat theme, the kitty, the pussy cat, if you will, uh huh. We're gonna start off with talking about my colors. So in this bucket, we've got black iron oxide and black onyx and fire glitter. In this bucket, we've got poppycock, always a bridesmaid, and tequila sunrise with super sparkles. And in this bucket, we have got titanium dioxide and super sparkles because glitter. If you've missed it, uh, Cat's birthday month, I do not stop them from all their glitter. So if uh, a slightly exfoliating, very glittery soap is not for you, I would recommend passing on this collection. <laughs> and uh, these are supposed to be like Calico Kitty colors. I like Calico Kitties. I like Calico Kitties, too. I like all kitties. All the pretty kitties. I also like kitties. <laughs> Making this so weird. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking about actual, like, meow meow cats. Being like, yay, kitties. I just want to touch their toe beans. And that's not what you're talking about. <laughs> no. No, that is not the kitty I am talking about. <laughs> this whole collection's been innuendo. In your endo. <laughs> <laughs> right. Notice how I can make my voice all nice and smooth, like I'm trying to use pickup lines. And apologies if while Kat is trying to be nice and smooth, there's a lot of tippy tappy tappy typing. Uh, we did not put up our sound curtain because it's getting a little stuffy in here. It's starting to get warm, and uh, David's in the other room typing. You just got to live with it. Suck it up, Buttercup! Sorry, editing Raven. Enjoy the tick attack. Why are you just staring at me? Because I'm trying to resist the urge. Oh, f it. I use soda because I want to Mountain Dew you. Oh my god. <laughs> painful. <laughs> I love the bit that the flirts. <laughs> so, our fragrance today. No, stop. One, one <laughs> video where you don't do this. That's all I ask. No. <laughs> Here's some fragrance <laughs> notes. Enjoy. <laughs> I amuse myself. Really? So now it's time for the lie. I swear to God. You are a soap maker. How is it's my birthday? Do you know how earlier we were talking about how, oh, if you don't work during the summer at the school district, like, you're just going to need to be making soap. And you're like, I can do that. And I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. I just don't want to. <laughs> Somebody has to. Raven's got a sweater. Raven's got a sweater. I got a bone to pick is what I got. <laughs> Why do I always have to do the lie? Raven's got a boner. Raven's got a boner. <laughs> touch you and you're sticky. Yeah, I just came. <laughs> Let's do some live. It's my birthday and I do what I wanna. 
do what I wanna, do what I wanna, you would too. What? <laughs> would I? <laughs> no. It's perfect. Mm-hmm. Not perfect. <laughs> Less perfect. <laughs> Sidedly. <laughs> Exiting perfect. <laughs> I'm perfect the way I am. Blend your soap. <laughs> Once again, I don't know how this fragrance oil is going to behave because I didn't read any of the notes. Did you read in the notes on any of the picks you had for this month? Nope. Living on the edge, cat. <laughs> now what's the plan, Stan? Rainbow whisk to the rescue. <laughs> what? Does mommy know likey? Oh my god. <laughs> How am I supposed to handle that? If I say I don't like it, I'm just playing into it. <laughs> but I don't like it. <laughs> ah! Yes, mistress. No, that's not any better. <laughs> ah. Oh, because Cat is a big old brat. So how are you how are you doing this one? This is all gonna be black. Oh. This whole bucket. Whole bucket black. Whole bucket black. Okay. And I'm gonna split this between these two. And the color that there's going to be the least amount of is the white. Got it. Is there a bucket that can hold both of these? Uh, yeah. The... Can you grab for me? That came out almost perfect. <laughs> oh, I don't like when you when you evil laugh. I, I find it concerning. When did I pick up the colors for this soap? I don't know. After you dyed your hair. Oh. It's meant to be my new hair color? Yes. Oh. That that makes this a little weird. <laughs> I want to pet your kitty. <laughs> Poor Raven. So much harassment. Makes me think of that TikTok with the little boy being like, can I pet your titties? And this guy's like, I'm sorry, what? My... My, my titties? And the little boy's like, yeah, your titties. And he points at the cat. He points at the kittens. Yeah, you, you titties. <laughs> He's like, oh, my kitties. That's like that time that M was creating his own alternate versions of Trevor Henderson creations. And he was making an all gray siren head. And he was calling it Ash Head. And I thought he was saying Ass Head. <laughs> I was concerned because <laughs> he has a little bit of a lisp so it was an easy mistake to make and I'm sitting there like trying to tell him why it's like not okay to call someone an asshead and he's looking at me very confused like what are you talking about and then he realized he was saying ash ash head and I was like oh no because I, I think that like, what happened saying, was ass head over and over to my giant. <laughs> oh, no. So like, what ended up happening, he was he like was like, no, ash head, but like explain like what ashes were. Yeah, he all of a sudden was like, ashes, like what's left over for a, from a fire. And I was like, oh, a mistake has been made here on my part. <laughs> there has been a severe miscommunication. It was absolutely my fault. Oh, I'm just keeping track. So it's going to be split between these two because I forgot to add the other two bottles. Well, this is only eight ounces, not all six. <laughs> I asked, Ethan. <laughs> I forgot that there was four bottles. So I was like, oh, yeah, two bottles. That's that's fine. That's about right because all the other ones, it was two bottles. Sure. Larger bottles. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Ta-da. Talk about 
butt. Bucket butt. Guess what I forgot to do? What? Like, comment, subscribe. Come for the soap. Stay for the shenanigans. <laughs> We've talked about this. I don't <laughs> think we can use that one. Can I threaten people with a whisk? Yes. That was what I initially was suggesting, was some sort of threatening gesture. Right, a la Jackie. Threaten to whisk them good. Make a mix up their insides joke. <laughs> Just told you. <laughs> yeah, but how many people would get that one? Cat. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Can you do this? Um. Yes. You know what? This one's going to be chaotic, though. I'm just concerned that this one's going to be significantly shorter than the other one. I don't know if you can fix it without messing this one up. You might just have to leave it. Okay. We might just have to misfit out this whole batch. What would have to miss? It's not that much shorter. It's quite a bit shorter. That's that's nearly a half an inch. No, you're going to mess it up. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm putting this on camera right now. I am saying what Kat is about to do, I think is going to mess it up. If I'm right, I told you so. Oh my god. <laughs> you're just going to ice cream scoop it? Oh, Kat. Yeah. Okay. Do you maybe want to, like, turn them around and move them closer to each other at least? Okay. Hey, they're even. Glitter! I only have five out. Only five. Lots of the good glitter. We got summer lemonade, more wildflower meadow. Do you want me to leave the little? Oh, yeah, go for it. Oh, or not. Oh. Next time, no. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I spilled. <laughs> Raven's making a mess! No! <laughs> I can't get it off. Sweater weather. Spelldown. Also the good glitter. The last glitter we'll introduce at the end, but I'm sure y'all can guess which one it is. And if you want to pick up any of these good glitter glitter blends, uh, we do have a coupon code, Meowit, which gets you 10% off. I think some of these are uh, not currently available. Yeah, but you can still go check stuff out. And... Yeah. You know, you get 10% off. It helps support us because it's an affiliate code and that whole thing. Plus, you know, Brittany over at The Good Glitter is super awesome and really nice. And we super appreciate her. Cover our sins in glitter. I'll be covering my sins in glitter when I go. I will cover my sins in glitter when I go. I will cover my sins in glitter. I will cover my sins in glitter. I will cover my sins in glitter when I go. Bring me my pussy cats. So I got little kitties to represent the kitties that we all want to pet. Why are you like this? <laughs> all right, we're gonna fast forward this real quick because it's gonna take a hot second. <laughs> yes, fantastic. <laughs> Love it. Last but not least, ta-da! Poor Raven's gonna have a hard time with this one. Into the Mystic! Because when don't I use hollow? I think that one's gonna end up with like more black and white in it and not as much uh, of the uh, ginger color because uh, of how I had to uh, be quick on the pour. Mm -hmm. It'll still look cool. Yeah. It'll still be chaos. You know what song's stuck in my head now? Hmm. Whoa, we're halfway there. Oh, living on a prayer. 
Apparently that's me with my fragrances this month. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> okay, so here is a close-up on the top of Kat's Pet Your Kitty. So <laughs> it's very, very hollow. Very, very glitter. I wanna pet your kitty. Oh god. I wanna pet your cat. Yeah, let's do a Christine from Simply No Logical Trip and I'll, I'll use my phone light so you can see the hollow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to let these sit in the mold overnight and we will come back tomorrow to give these a cut. So we will be right back. See you in a second. All right, soap butts. Soap butts. These are the soap butts. Shall we? Yes. Ah, ah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. It's so glittery, too. Ooh. Neat. It kind of smells like, like licorice. Does it? Like black licorice. You know, it kind of does. Huh. That's weird. <laughs> I was not expecting that out of pineapple sage. Neither was I. Interesting. Cutting it on its side. Should help with the drag marks from the glitter. Ooh, interesting. Very dramatic. Well, like calicos come in two kind of coat styles, right? There's the one where it's like the tortoiseshell calico, and that's where it's mostly black. Mm -hmm. And just a regular calico where it's mostly white. This is very much giving me tortoiseshell calico. Well, because both of my calicos were uh, tortoiseshell. Oh, tortoise. Yeah. We had a tortoiseshell cat growing up. Her name was Fluffy because, you know, kids are very inventive. <laughs> uh, Melissa was one of them. She was mom and cat. She had her kittens out in her bushes. And uh, she had three orange and white cats, a gray kitty, two gray and white cats that looked a lot like Siamese cats. Like they had the bright blue eyes and everything. Oh, wow. And a calico. And that calico we named Feisty. <laughs> and that calico hated everyone and everything but me. You were popular with Feisty. Sounds about right, really. So I sneak that lunch meat out of the house and I feed Feisty lunch meat. And Feisty loved me. You had the meats. Yes. <laughs> And the rest of the neighborhood liked Feisty because at one point we had a rat problem and Feisty single-handedly uh, fixed that problem. <laughs> the dogs in the neighborhood were scared of Feisty too because they would come up to her and she would, uh, she would <laughs> them up. Not as good as that one's going to get. Whoa. There you go. He's intense. Yeah. Uh, it's giving me uh, vibes from a dinosaur made this. Oh, yeah, it was Calico Kitty Cats. Yeah. And it didn't turn to tar while we were <laughs> trying to. Look, when we were not in dinosaur costumes, it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> it was just while we were in dinosaur costumes that it was a struggle. Like, I'm still surprised these smell like black licorice. Like, I was not expecting that. That was one of the first times we did a double camera. We did a double camera on that video. Oh, it yeah. It was such a pain in the butt because we didn't have two DSLRs that we never did it again. <laughs> and now we've got two DSLRs. It's way easier now. I think I edited that video in the old freeware we used to use. I wonder, like, if I were to take the footage and redo it, <laughs> what would the video look like? I miss having a cat. I wish that our house was set up in a manner that we could have cats. I miss having cats too. I miss having a cat and a dog, but our house, there's just, there's no spot to put a litter box. There's not a spot for a cat to go to just be left alone. Yeah. No, I miss Apollo, Artemis, and Athena. I oh, know, I'm sorry. This house does not work well with six people and pets. Nice. Obviously, we really love animals, and we want to make sure that when we have pets in our life, that we're able to give them the best possible life. 
And right now, that's not something we can do with this current house. Maybe someday. When the housing market is not completely ridiculous. <laughs> and like every house in a size that would work for us is not selling for half a million dollars or more. Jesus, right? I mean, it's it, it's made us consider... Like, it's made me consider moving back to Utah. Guys, I I don't like Utah. It's pretty. It's pretty. But I don't like the people most in most areas. And we were talking about this earlier with David, but the thing with the United States, if you're not from the States, or maybe you haven't traveled a lot in the States, if you are from the States, is that if you're in a big city, you're more likely to have more progressive things going on there. And as you get farther out of the city into rural areas, it becomes more conservative. And, and that's true for California as well. It is. Yeah, absolutely it is. And I just don't want to be hate crimed, you know? Like, <laughs> we've had to deal with where we live now, which is in a relatively progressive area in terms of, like, its general politics, because we live near the capital. We've had people try to hate crime us. Kat and I, this dude tried to hit us with a truck in a parking lot. And... We were dealing with months of being harassed by an anonymous neighbor sending reports against everything against us because we're very openly, like you can see, we have a pride flag in our window. That's one of the things they reported. Yeah. Which is why we now have uh, so much more pride up. Well, I mean, the cats kind of traditionally are large for embeds. There we go. Nice. That kind of looks like moth wings. Yeah, it's cool. But yeah, I was thinking of feisting when I picked the colors for this. Cute. Well, it definitely comes across. And, uh, well, the orange uh, in feisty and the in your hair was, like, <laughs> spot on the same. So in the comments, tell us about your pets. We miss having pets. So we can live vicariously through your pets. Tag us on Instagram with pictures of your pets. Bonus, if you have a cat that's an asshole and you tell us sto- an asshole story about your cat. Asshole cat. Sorry, I love, a- you know, the stereotypical cat that's an asshole. I just love dumb dogs. Like, give oh me a, God, a dumb you dog. Your- you, you like your dogs like you like your anime boys. Dumb, but sweet. Yes. I like, I like bimbo dogs. Bimbo dogs, bimbo dogs. Yeah. That's that's my favorite. <laughs> In fact, the only thing you don't like being dumb is your partners. This is true. Yeah, I don't think I could date someone who is an idiot. <laughs> I could be exhausted. And we'll end on a positive note here with Kat's tortoiseshell cat soap bars, which they're definitely cats and not anything else. It's not innuendo. They're cats. Just cats. Little kitties. I like cat your kitty. <laughs> All right, so these are going to be available at the end of April, the last Friday of April. I'll flash the date across the screen for you now at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, catandravendesigns.com. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're here. That is your usual hydration reminder as well. Go have some water. Thank you. We'll see you for the next video. (laughs) Bye, everybody. Like, comment, and subscribe because your glitter deity demands it. Yeah. Your glitter deity demands your attention. Whisk the subscribe button. (laughs) Like, comment, subscribe. Your glitter deity demands it.